The Korean Peninsula has a significant place in history as it was influenced by different cultures, environment and people because of its position in East Asia and the important Korean War fought between the North and the South in the 50s. According to the Korea Times, the Squid Game was an actual outdoor game played in Korea post-war during the 70s and the 80s as no records have been found about the game's existence before the war. Unfortunately, the Korean society didn't get to see the games being played by children of subsequent generations unlike the slap match game Hibiscus has bloomed, spinning top or marbles which are still relevant in the current society to some extent. Some suggest that while the coin economy was recovering from the war, children in those days had a hard time finding ways to play outside since playgrounds and schoolyards were not commonly green. So children used the unlawned sand yards to be creative yet simple with drawing the shape outlines come up with a bunch of rules and play the squid game, also giving us an inkling of how extremely competitive the Korean society was and still is today. While the origins of the game still remain largely inconclusive, it's interesting to see how the power of storytelling plays its role in ensuring that the history and culture of a society is kept alive and the creators of the squid game seem to have just done that. Not only did it bring nostalgia to South Korean viewers, this game has apparently become into a big internet sensation.